Look who's here. Have we met? Well, if we haven't, I'm sure we will. Soon enough. Buckle up, bad boy, cause here we go. Yeah, and fuck you too! Yo, hope you're up. I would let you sleep yesterday off, but I have some troublesome motherfucker to attend to, and it can't wait. I'm waiting for you at the main square close to my place. Sober up and come see me. The shit you see before you is called a trap, temporary relocation, and assimilation parcel. Fancy and sarcastic name for the xenophobic ghetto you are about to work in soon enough. Ghettos filled with junkies, low-life criminals, and a decent amount of innocent international poor bastards that just ended up in the crossfire. <laughs> Business as usual. Mm. I love the smell of tires in the morning. You're here, looking good. Great. Sit down. I'll brief you up. Doobie? Now that's Eddie. He's the guy that picked up both of our asses from the street and put us to work. You'll be answering to him in any business done with the cartel, so you will be in contact a lot. But for now, moving forward, I got a lot of shit to show you, and huh, who's got time, right? The stuff that you'll be selling lands in dead drops. Smugglers drop off your stuff around in various places, so you can pick them up without direct contact. After you get the confirmation on a drop, you better be quick. There's a lot of people with sticky hands around here, and you don't want them to be there first. There it is, see it? ShadyCom is a modern encrypted app that allows for safe communication for criminals. Don't ask me how it works, never give a fuck. It just does, trust me, and it's awesome. Here, you'll both order your merch from Eddie and communicate with your clients and dealers. After you confirm the delivery, the clients will be waiting for you to come, but not forever, so try to hurry up. Oh, and among all the various uh, creatures you'll encounter on your business trips by foot, there's also one group that would love to take your drugs, but not necessarily pay for them. The police. Talking about policemen, nighttime is another nuisance. After the sirens go off, you can't go out till dawn. Well, at least they can't see you do it, right? The patrols are doubled, and they'll stop you on sight, so you gotta be careful and stealth your ass out. But hey, don't worry, there are upsides. Clients order twice more at night. 
mostly for parties and pay extra for the risk. Working at night also boosts your respect and experience, plus lowers your exposition. So you must plan and adapt your choice of daytime or night to your preferred playstyle. Ah, shit. I almost forgot. Smoke weed every day, my ass. <laughs> the workstation. Now, here's the part for all y'all science and economic motherfuckers. You can sell the dope pure as ice if you want. But if you like to do some mixing, well, here's the place to do it. Workstations allow you to arrange various equipment to store, pack, mix, and process anything with whatever the fuck. Mix drugs with drugs, drugs with chemicals, mill, pill, dry, wash, crystallize, <laughs> science, bitch, or just some baking soda if you're lazy. Now, just don't get too creative with the mixes. Motherfuckers can die, you know, or get addicted, but that's a good thing. I mean, kinda. Ah, uh, you know what I mean. Don't be a smartass, it's just a video game, okay? Now, if you've already imagined a plan of selling tons of flour as coke to morons, hold your horses. It ain't that easy, okay? Low-quality stuff makes you lose clients and reputation. Reputation affects the prices you can demand for the merchandise. So you gotta decide if you wanna sell some good stuff for better prices, or mixed up shit to poor junkies for. Quality or quantity, <laughs> up to you, man. Remember that part about respect? Well, it affects your sales on neighborhoods. First, you need to gain it and later sustain it. Selling dope aside, how are your painting skills? An additional way to quickly gain audience in a territory is the market. The police are not exactly the artistic type though, so watch out for them as well. Oh yeah, some of the satisfied clients in time can turn to your dealers. If they're happy with your stuff, they'll ask to work for you. Dealers distribute the dope around to their friends and bring you cash afterwards. It's kinda like MLM, but it's fair. Now, as you grow throughout the ghetto, you might need to think about some real estate investments. Hideouts. These are important not only for storage and logistics, in a hideout, you can save your game, wait, which increases time flow, organize your stash and workstation, or place an additional laptop to contact your clients and dealers. Additionally, they provide crucial boosters for improving your client base and the... Wait, now what the fuck is this guy doing? You seeing this shit? Who the hell have you hired to make that playthrough management? Ugh, okay, just... Uh... I'm sure you'll do better. Let's just continue. No, no, not again. What the hell is that guy doing? Seriously. Can't we afford better testers here? Okay, stop. Rewind. Yeah, yeah, rewind this shit. Like right now. Okay, okay. At some point of expanding, you'll have to get to Sector B. But you can't just go with drugs through a checkpoint. Like that moron, can ya? Of course, you can't. There are several ways to move your stuff to the other side of that wall. But this ain't the time for spoilers. Anyway, logistics in Sector B are gonna get more complicated. And some hideouts on the other side will also come in hand. Oh, for fuck's sakes, now what? I bet the same guy that did the playthrough also does the montage, right? <laughs> Indie game studio, business as usual. Shit, come on, man, huh? Hello? Okay, so where were we? Wait. Oh, now ain't that just great? <laughs> so long, we're out of here. From the south side, we warriors. My blood live and glorious. My story live victorious. Ain't just me, it's more of us. And we out here, we out here. We